the importance of breakfast. Should you miss breakfast? Should you have a light breakfast? Or should you have a large breakfast? So much information, misinformation and bullshit from all walks of life. So many people say you should have a big breakfast, set you up for the day. A lot of people say you should have a light breakfast, mental clarity. And some people say you can't train without having breakfast. A lot of that is bullshit. I'm a guy who wakes up late. So for me, breakfast can be anywhere from 12 to 2 p.m. on some days. I might wake up at 9 a.m., but I will not have breakfast till 12, 1. I'll give you an example of today, I got up at 9. I didn't have a breakfast till about 2, 2.30 today. My reason for that is, today I had a lot to do. I thought the first thing I wanna do is get the gym out of the way. So I went to the gym, trained for about an hour, I trained chest. I was just as strong as I was last week. I'm not strength training at the minute. So my strength is kind of like at a good base. I don't push hard in the gym. I also don't go into the gym to do shit sessions. I make sure I'm doing very, very good sessions, but I train fasted on days like this. After my training session, I go and do about 45 minutes cardio on the Stairmaster. I came home, had a shower. I was fresh, ready for the day. I wasn't hungry, so I listened to my body. Did a few jobs, picked my daughter up. Then we went and got some food at my local spot. If you guys follow me on Instagram, Fadi Hussein13, you know exactly where I go for food. So that was me today. Tomorrow, I've got not a lot on, so I might go do some cardio in the morning, come home, have some breakfast then go to the gym after breakfast. Every day is very different for me. Now I'm gonna talk about whether it's good for fat loss, muscle gain, strength gain, all this kind of shit. So first of all, fat loss. Should you do, should you eat breakfast if your main focus is fat loss? Never, 100%, there is no reason if you are in a fat burning state to have breakfast before you do at least one hour of activity. I don't give a shit where you are, who you are, what stage you're at, but if you are, your main goal is fat loss, then I would suggest you go and do some cardio first. If you're a busy guy and you're in the fat burning stage, I would get up an hour or two hours early, I would do my training first, and then I would do my cardio, and then, only then, would I have breakfast. There's no way at all, you're gonna get me a nine to five worker, get up in the morning, fucking all groggy, bit tired, do my cardio, come home, stuff my face for breakfast, get to work, then after work, go to the gym again. The routine, it just doesn't suit most people. They wanna go in at one time and get it all out of the way. Now, some people would be like, well, I'll tell you what, why don't I just go to work and then after work, I can do my training and I can do my cardio. That's fine if you get it done but there is actually scientific research. First thing in the morning, in a fasted state, if you do cardio, you will burn fat. I don't give a fuck what all these bullshit guys say. Well, it's calories in, calories out. Listen, fucker. Calories in, calories out doesn't fucking add up. I'll explain in other videos, and we know why that isn't. For a start, just to very briefly explain here, four calories per one gram of carbohydrates, four calories per one gram of fucking protein, don't be a fucking idiot, they're not the same things. And on the calorie meter, they're exactly the fucking same. So right there and then, that's just number one. I've got about 100 other things that I can dismiss calories with. We're not gonna get into that on this video, we're just talking about breakfast. So if you were to train early morning, fasted, drink some water first, make sure you drink some water. Always fucking drink water, some cordial, whatever it's gonna be, Diet Coke, I don't give a shit. Get something down you, a coffee, if you wanna drink coffee, uh, what, do they, what do they call it? I mean, I'm not a coffee drinker. What do they call it? Black, a black coffee, whatever it is. No milk, no sugar, none of that shit. Drink the fucking coffee in the morning. There's fine, nothing wrong with that. Drink some water as well. Get to the gym. Do your training, do your cardio, and then you're ready for the fucking day. You're gonna be eating good meals. You're gonna feel fresh. You're gonna feel mental. You're gonna feel, you're gonna feel that mental clarity. You're ready for the day. And the other thing as well is you'll never fucking miss. If you wake up in the morning and the first thing on your mind is I need to get to the fucking gym and that is your daily habit. The first thing you do, you wake up, you go to the toilet, you have a piss, you brush your teeth, you sit on the toilet, do your little business. And the next thing is get your clothes on and get to the fucking gym. If that is your routine every single day, you are never ever gonna miss regardless where you are. You'll be in another country, 5,000 miles away from home, after you've had that morning shit and you brush your teeth, you'll think, I need to get to the fucking gym because your, your body is programmed that way. So program it like that. And that is if your main goal is fat burning. Me, myself, personally, sometimes 
I can because I'm, I'm very good at this. I know my body. Sometimes I will do that. Like today. Today was a perfect day for me to get shit done quick. I got up, went training, did my cardio. Perfect. Not a fucking issue. Now, if you are a strength training athlete or if you want some sort of strength gain or you're on a program to train for fucking strength, I would still say get up and do some cardio, go do a little bit of a walk and then have your breakfast. Always fucking in your breakfast. Then obviously eat some food, some high fats, some high proteins, then get to the gym, do your strength gaining session, follow a good strength gaining program. If you want a strength gaining program, by the way, head over to fadihussein.com, there's one on there, or inbox me directly, or even leave a comment on this video down below, I'll get back to you. And also, while we're at it, if you made it this far into the video, hit the fucking subscribe button, come on, man, I'm only on like five, 600 subscribers at the minute, we need to bump it up, I need to monetize this shit, it's taking too fucking long. Actually, it's not taking that long, I've only been at it two weeks, but you get my point, we're fucking on this shit, so I'm on it, content fucking daily, right, before, <laughs> anyway, before I fucking forget, we've got one more fucking thing to go through. So we've got your fat loss, We've got your guy who wants to make the strength gains. Okay, now everybody else, for those guys on a maintenance flex, for those guys like me who ain't bothered about fat loss, ain't bothered about being fucking strong, just want to live a healthy life. I would say to you, the first thing you want to do in the morning after you do your normal shit is go for a fucking walk. If that's the only thing you're going to do, you don't want to go do your press-ups, you don't want to do your pull-ups, you don't want to do your sit-ups, go for a fucking walk. Do some sort of exercise in the morning for the rest of your life. Always have this mentality. Earn your breakfast. You're not going to fucking die, okay? Nobody's ever died by not having breakfast. It is healthy to train fasted. When you start missing breakfast on a regular, you're going to wake up with mental clarity. You're going to wake up. You're not going to have that groggy feeling. You're not going to be tired. You're going to want to go every single morning. If you've got an alarm, I don't wake up an alarm, an alarm clock personally. I don't fucking have one. I haven't had, for, had one for about 10 years. But if you're one of those slaves that wake up with an alarm clock, put the alarm clock on. Look, the second that alarm clock goes off, get the fuck up, get the fuck out. Or if you've got one of those treadmills at home, use a treadmill at home. And if it's raining outside and you haven't got a treadmill at home, press ups. Do 500 fucking press ups. I don't care how long it takes, it can take an hour. Do some fucking press ups. First thing in the morning, empty stomach, earn your breakfast, regardless what you're fucking doing. 